to put in place measures to deal with that anti-vax nonsense that sadly is still available on social media platforms. Now, of course, we're talking about a very serious issue here, but I just need to reference the fact that thank you very much for battling the rain. <laughs> it looks like pretty torrential conditions uh, where you are. Um, down, you were talking. The interview started. <laughs> we, um, we were, you were talking there about um, dangerous content online. And excuse me. <laughs> oh no! Let oh, oh. oh. <laughs> and the. Uh, this is. Um, if you need to take a moment, the equipment is falling we can come over. <laughs> Umbrella is gone. Um, we'll come uh, back to you. This is going to be one of those ones. This will be one of those clips that will go viral, no doubt. Um, <laughs> the point I was making is, we did actually in the United Kingdom introduce compulsory vaccination legislation in the 1850s, as it happens. I know it was a long time ago, but it just led to mass demonstrations. It the British people and get that deal. Okay, I'm going to let you go inside and warm up. I hope you've got a towel and a cup of tea waiting for you. Um, thank you very much, Jonathan Ashworth. There. Thank you. Uh, great British weather. I have to love it. Um, before we move on, a quick reminder, do check out the Sophie Ridge on Sunday podcast.